Um, well, my name is Aliyah Mohammed. I'm a junior at Emory Secondary. Um, perhaps the board remembers me from previous meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm here to speak about the counselor position, too. Um, our guidance counselor, Mr. Patterson, goes above and beyond his duties as counselor for the students of ESS. And his brand of loyalty, as well as the, as the stability that comes with it, is not just something that you can take away without expecting major ramifications. And attempting to satisfy the need for a counselor with a part-timer who only, only present for a few days out of the week is not sufficient, as made evident in the past when students have petitioned for more guidance counselors, indicating that we need more of the services Mr. Patterson provides for the school and not less. Personally, Mr. Patterson keeps me sane enough to function in school, and with senior year coming on and college soon thereafter, I have no clue as to where I'll be or what I'll do without his advice. Given the kind of change that is trying to be made, our futures as juniors are, is going to be up in the air. Already we've begun to panic over college and careers, but without the critical support of a counselor, we're doomed to drown. Doing this will only set us up for failure next year. It is also important to note that the weight Mr. Patterson's shoulders will be given to the students and all other staff members. This will be overwhelming to the point of collapse as, we've already, as we are already understaffed. Take away our counselor and you've taken away our chances at success. You'll give us a major disadvantage that we may not be able to overcome. Ultimately, you'd be doing more harm than good to the school and thus to the district by cutting Mr. Patterson in his position. Thank you.